Hello students, my name is Vinci and I'll be teaching you computer today. So today we're going to learn our next chapter which is an introduction to Windows 10. So as with the last time it was Windows 7, so now this time we have a new Windows called Windows 10 and we are going to learn about Windows 10 today. So students, now the first screen you all can see. Now this screen which appears at the start of the computer, it is called as a desktop. Now this screen you can see, this screen is called as your desktop. Now it is a primary device of a computer. It is a screen displayed after the booting process and is complete. The desktop screen displays icons. These are the icons. The taskbar, now the white color line you can see it is called as your taskbar. The start button, here is the start button, you all can see. Start button. Then search and crotona over your search. You can see type here to search. So from your search, crotona, talk to crotona, windows and action center. So now this is called as your desktop. The starting screen of the computer is called as your desktop. Now let's learn more. Now you all can see the different types of folders on the screen. Yes, now these folders are called as icons. What are these called? Icons. Icons are the graphical symbols. They represent particular file, folder or program. For example, if when you click on recycle bean now if you click on recycle bean icon a uh, icon containing all the deleted files and folders now this recycle bean contains all the files and folders which are deleted when you delete a particular file or a folder it goes to your recycle bean now the next is the taskbar now what does this taskbar do the taskbar is located at the bottom of the desktop. Now bottom means down. The taskbar is located at the bottom of the desktop. It has a start button. Now it also has a start button. Yes. And it also has a volume button. Now where is the volume control? The volume control is over here. You can see from here if you click on this. You can adjust the volume. Now my volume is 72. So I can increase the volume, decrease the volume. So from here you can control a particular volume. Next, it has a clock and a calendar. Now a clock and a calendar is at the end of the taskbar. Now end over here. If you click on this, you will get the particular timing what is the time what is the day and everything the, your date and time it will show you your date and your time so what does the task and the taskbar also contains a different type of files and folders over here down down it contains a lot of files and folders then it also these are the application which are displayed on the taskbar to lock the taskbar click on the right on the taskbar and click on lock the taskbar now if you don't want this taskbar if i don't want this taskbar this i want the full screen so what i'll do on my mouse i will go to the taskbar i click on right and then from here you all can see lock the taskbar if you will click on lock the taskbar the taskbar will get locked it will be disappeared it will not be seen understood fd1 now the next is window store now window store you can see this black color option over here it is called as your window store now in the phone y'all everyone has a play store where y'all can download different kinds of apps and everything so same way this is a window store if you click on this you will get different kind of apps which you can download understood everyone okay now the next is search and crotona now what is the search and crotona now here you can see search if you click over here now if i have saved a particular folder by second standard i have saved a particular folder or my powerpoint presentation by second standard and i want that folder i am not getting the folder so what i will do i will click i will type your second standard keyboard 
it is taking a little bit time so from here see the folder i have got the folder see from here so if you search if you are not getting anything your folder or file or anything you can search from here the search box is on the taskbar will allow you search for file and application on your computer it can also search for anything you type on web now suppose i am searching for rose i'm searching for roses so from here also you can search from here also or else you can go to google also from here you can go to google also and you can search whatever you want or you can type from here also it can also search for anything you type on the web now crotona is a digital assistant of windows 10 which provides a personalized experience and requires an internet connection to active crotona type a question in a search box or select the microphone and talk to crotona by saying hey crotona allowed by your question now suppose now this is my crotona over your search so here you can see over your option talk to crotona so i will click on this option and if i'll click on the option talk to crotona then if i click on the option talk to crotona then you can talk to crotona you can ask the questions to your microphone to your microphone you can ask the crotona a question like what is the capital of india crotona so the crotona will say the answer as i have not signed in so i will sign in and then i will speak to crotona the crotona what is the hey crotona what is the capital of india where i am right now what is my location so the crotona will find your answer understood everyone what does search and crotona do okay next is action center the action center is located on the taskbar it's located at the right corner of the taskbar now what does this action center do now the action center is helps you to access quick settings and allows you different types of notification now the action center is and settings opening your settings over here you can see the option setting yes so if you click on action this is also called as action center so if you click on it you will find different kind of settings like quick settings like changing your desktop or else doing whatever like accounts system phone anything you want to change you can change from here now the next is the start button now the main thing is your start button now what does this start button do now the start button it represents at the left corner of your taskbar it is the most important button on the desktop it provides the complete list of programs available on computer when you click on the start button a list appears this list is called as your start menu now you all can see this list over here the big list over here this list is called start menu this menu gives us a quick access to application install and documents and documents stored in the computer now this list you can see this list is added to your to your start button now this list is also called as your start menu now if you from here also you can go from calendar or timing or from here also you can go to calculator calendar crotona then alarm and clock from here also you can find your from the start menu now this is called as your start menu now the next is we are going to learn sign out from the computer now how to sign out from your computer now suppose you have a microsoft account as i have a microsoft account in my computer now i want to sign out means i want to go out from it so what i will do i will click on start button i will go over here here you can see option over here i will click on this option and here you can see sign out so if we we'll click on the option sign out you will be signed out from the account understood everyone how to sign out now to sign out you have to create a microsoft account 
now like your google account how you all have a google account and you all do on the uh, classroom be on the classroom like that only you all have to create a microsoft account where if you click on microsoft here if you click on start button first you're going to click on start button from here only at the corner you will go up and then you will click whatever name and you will sign out understood everyone how to sign in and sign account sign out okay now the next is shut down the computer how to shut down a computer simple first you're going to click on start button now from above only start button there is an option power there is an option called power so if you will click on it you will get an option sleep shut down or restart so what you are going to click you are going to click on shut down means you after doing your work after everything doing you can shut down your computer now if you want to use your computer again if you want to use your computer again you will click on sleep so if you click on sleep and you will shut down your uh, the computer will automatically get shut down but if you will press any button on the keyboard then the computer will be opened so it is called a sleep sleep means sleeping uh, take uh, going computer to sleep for some times and then waking it up again restart means offing the computer again and starting automatically it is called as restart understood everyone so today understood everyone what are icons what is a taskbar how what are what is there in the taskbar date time and you, you can change the volume the action center how to log out from the uh, account then how to shut down a computer main thing is how to shut down a computer understood everyone so students today we have learned a new chapter called windows 10 in which we have learned about a desktop icons taskbar so i hope you all have understood the lesson i hope you all are being safe and taking care of yourself thank you